weekend is the final gathering of the Rudy deal, which is the house my dad grew up in. My grandfather built it, not with his bare hands or anything, but built it back in the 50s. And uh, my family's been living on this land for a long, long time, and it represents a lot of steeped history for me. I remember even in this room when they used to have parties when I was a kid, and they, had, they would have a red light like we have tonight, and I would be bartender when I was like 10, to all the old relatives that smelled like scotch. It's time for me to leave here and we're throwing this big celebration to mark the end of an era, simultaneously for me and like this group of friends and musical projects. So tonight we've transformed the whole space into something that honors the energy it had before the old ancestors and also more sit into something new. They never had a rock band here and I can't imagine they ever thought there would be when they built the house. So it's a two-day event and tonight we're inviting all the other people that have been connected with the Rue to to come here for the rock show and tomorrow we're gonna do an acoustic show and just kind of go out with a bang. I leave here in about a week and a half so once the party's done we're gonna clean out the remainder of the stuff and it'll be empty. In the fort that you make in your mind and so tonight and today the next couple of days we'll be able to come together here in the spirit of Rudadu. My name is Robbie Holmes and um, I just came off of a two-month camping trip um, beginning of the summer. Uh, I saw it clearly to uh, go to the mountain so put everything in storage and Dante and I went to, uh, to the mountain for two months and Christopher asked me to come in and work together with a, on a project and so we are here and uh, have prepared the canvas for an evening that's going to bring a lot of wonderful people together. I've always been a person that wherever I've went it seems like uh, music and creativity has been surrounding me. There are subtle things that uh, remind me that I have little jobs to do so uh, I'm here doing my job and uh, thankful to be together with a bunch of wonderful people. 
And is that the two, two of the gap? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a bunch of them and you can select any one you want. I like the yellow light. Hey. Okay. We grew up here and my cousins and the neighbors was kind of like a, one of those fantasy kid blocks where everyone got to hang out actually. We used to crawl through this little tunnel that was in the bushes, like 10, 20 feet. And we'd crawl all the way deeply in there and sit on these rocks under this canopy and just talk about dreams and stuff. So that became what the Rue to Do was. It was the, the dreams of the fort you built in your imagination as a child. Like all that you could dream of in life with nothing holding you back. And that has become what this place is. And so, you know, it was originally an imagination, and then it became this house, and a lot of energy came surrounding this house and the Rue to Do here. And then leaving here, whether this place exists or not, the Rue to Do, in my mind, intentionally is going to continue. On the road again. Watch you walk out that door. But when you turn her knee, I love you sweeter than I did before. But it's that time you pack your bag. Where's Morgan? <laughs> Should have asked. Box of LEDs from Michael. Me? Yeah, that's you. No, 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 no one said that to me. <laughs> Perfect. One of the other needs to be hot, so it sounds fucking juicy. It's gonna be hot. It doesn't have to go up the fucking mic level. But it doesn't need to be loud. It just needs to be hot. Just you know, put a little testicle in it. I just want to make there. sure it's off axis enough from the. No, the thing is, like, then back off there because like these things do pound harder when you push them. My history with the Rue to Do started when our old band Naya moved here, preparing for our first ever tour. And a lot of magical things have happened here since, like working on Six Foot Soul, which was Christopher's uh, first solo record, which I got to co-produce with him, and that was awesome. And we basically held held out here for three months straight, and. At that point, this place became extra special because it really did feel like the fort that he described as, as a kid. Right now, I'm working on the entryway, and hopefully in a little bit, if I can get an extra set of hands, I'm going to try to rig up some lighting in and, and the actual main room. We just have to convert the last little bit that is like uh, a living space for Christopher right now into just a more of a ballroom. Here is from 
either my my mom's side of the family or my dad's. It's like mixed. Really? It's, yeah. Like that's shit. Cool. I've, that's awesome. Shit I've kept, or I write it in school, like stuff I've kept from both sides. Like, oh, let's joke and throw it away. And so when they come over, they're like, what the hell? Right. It's all yeah, together. Yeah, all this stuff. That's so cool. Yeah. There is a machete there, so if the machete falls and cuts you, you have to 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 have Six or seven, like pretty, like power conditioned outlets on the back of it. So, for me, the Rue de Do means family. Every time I come to the Rue de Do, it is quite the occasion. Uh, definitely have used it as a meeting place for the people that I really care about. A place to gather, a place to spend the night, and those kinds of experiences don't really come around that often. There's nothing like waking up here on a beautiful Portland morning such as this with your closest and dearest over coffee and food that you've all communally thrown in what you have to make. Uh, guests arrive constantly family. No one comes up this drive unless they hey, up, they guys? should be here. Uh, do you know anywhere I should park around? Yeah, you can park right there. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. I have performed here on several occasions. I would say that I very much grew up playing here uh, in terms of my musical progression. It's very important for me to get to bounce ideas off with people that I really care about. And that's the kind of musical community that I think Worth has inspired. I think uh, musicianship that comes with a heart and really that true connection to people. Worth is extremely charismatic. He is blessed to have this space to be able to share that energy with others because he's a tap pool of it. He brings a lot of energy forward and I think it's inspired a lot of us to find the energy and the light within ourselves to bring forth what it is we have. album in that room right there. Uh, 
I spent the night here dozens of nights and just had some of the most interesting, intellectually stimulating parties I've ever been to. Taking out a show on Friday, hitting out a scenic byway, and paying out a toll on down the road. To show up to the venue late, set our gear up on the stage. There's only five more minutes left to go. Waiting for that sacred melody. Come on, fool me. Praying to the
Yeah, I started working hell at Yeah. <laughs> Originally, usually we play as a four or five piece, and tonight it looks like we're going to be a three piece. So I'm prepared to go kind of more minimal with it. It's okay. I mean, we know they know the material. We're really good guys, really good musicians, and as long as the spirit's there tonight, we'll just we'll just play it through. And I don't see how the spirit can't be here. You know, this house is like a a portal. We've done so much music here. It's it's all like the dust on the fans is like literally the skin of my great grandparents. This is a pretty special place, and the parties here have been really really something and this has been by far the most effort put into a party and we're having a live show so I hope it doesn't get too crazy and I hope it I th I'm, I'm more worried that it might get too crazy but I think we have you know enough preparation for that hey greetings um, I'm looking for a sinky uh, party uh, tap do you have to have those why well, gotta be you so rude to get abused in a bad fight Is our relationship right or wrong? I sing it a song Play along with this song Sample back with all the beautiful talent around singing, expressing yourself with instruments. I have been exposed to so much, so many good times, lots of debauchery. God, the nights. How many nights have we like <laughs> been up till four in the morning and everybody crashes on the floor right by the fireplace and it's just a cuddle puddle and everybody's happy. I will miss that so much. This place is special. Oh, autumn I remember, autumn I remember has been home to a lot of good times, uh, a lot of parties, a lot of a lot of drama, but overall one thing really stuck through it all was there was a lot of love here. Who to do? To you. Yeah, take a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> It's been amazing, and I don't think anyone will ever forget it. <laughs> 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 